My name is Shannon Keane. I'm originally from Seattle. I moved to Ireland 13 years ago. And ten, almost 11 years ago, I had opened the cafe, which is a diva boutique bakery and cafe. I suppose I was, it was a bit worrying opening a bakery in a recession, but it proved to be a good move. Um, our bread production has increased by three times. Our cake production has increased and we're selling, um, selling out each day. When I first opened, I started, I wanted to do a coffee house, kind of, I suppose, a friend style coffee house. When I moved to Ireland, there wasn't too, there wasn't too much of that happening, at least in Kinsale. And so that's kind of what I started out with coffee. But I realized quickly that you need to have food to get people in the doors. And then this was, this again was 11 years ago. So it was different. Um, so we started making coffee, salads, sandwiches, and that kind of brought us to where we are now. As a baker, I definitely bake like a North American. I, I wouldn't even attempt to bake like an Irish baker, I, I leave it to them because it's their tradition. They know I didn't. I didn't even know what a bakewell tart was, and to be honest, I've never made a bakewell tart. Um, I like to bake what I know and what I grew up with. Uh, the name Diva comes from my favorite coffee house in Seattle, so that's uh, it. Was short, three letter or four letters, uh, easy to remember, and it was just I. I suppose I wanted to emulate that coffee house when I when I moved. I missed it, and um, so that's kind of what we did. I suppose, uh, yeah. People have said they they call me diva, and that's funny. I always laugh because I'm I I don't think I'm a diva. Um, yeah, that's that's the reason. It, it's really very very simple. Four letters. <laughs> I guess it probably does come out that the, the name matches the food. I, I do feel that the customers, they associate the name with, you know, yeah, they, they see the cakes and they're lavish and, you know, we try and make them as big as possible and, and dec you know, decorative as possible. Um, the food, I guess what I'm, I never really associated it with D Diva, the name Diva, I, I suppose I'm, my style, I think, but I could be interpreting that wrong, is a little more um, down home, kind of country American, you know, like the pulled pork and I guess uh, I meant, you know, tacos or quesadillas. Um, so, but that could be translated to, to Ireland, like I suppose exuberant and um, I, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm just cooking the food I miss. I think that when I when I first came to Ireland in 1993, the change that that like there was a big change from when I came to when I opened the business, and then in the last yeah definitely in the last 11 years, I find that I could put something out um, like a couple of years ago we were doing a chipotle mushroom crema on a steak, and nobody knew what chipotle, or chipotles were, chipotle chili, but it was a mushroom crema with chipotle chilies and tequila. And I suppose now they don't ask me what is a chipotle, they, they know what chipotle chilies are. Um, anybody coming over for the gathering, I definitely say do not miss uh, the Barra Peninsula. Um, that's one of my favorite places in Ireland, I love, the, the ruggedness, the wildness. Um, I think there's really good food producers there. I would really love to encourage some chefs to come over here and, and check it out and, and, and even, you know, possibly get in the kitchen with some of the chefs here and, and just see what, see what Ireland has to offer. Um, I think that it, for so many years, probably people have thought, oh, I Irish food, you know, it's very bland or, you know, the spuds and potato or spuds and carrots and cabbage. And those are all really good. But I, I do think that Ireland is moving at a rapid pace in the culinary world. I suppose where I'm, where I'm raised, where I'm from, we would have had loads of fresh seafood. You know, you have the wild salmon, we have Alaska spot prawns, there's halibut. And that, I think, and Dungeness crab. 
So the thing I noticed the correlation between, say, West Cork and the Pacific Northwest is you have the seafood element and you have some great restaurants. The brownies have made huge progress in Ireland in the last 10 years. <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed. Um, there's some really good brownies out there. Uh, we, I kind of built my business on brownies, believe it or not. People would come in for the brownies. Um, and, you know, I would go on the hunt around the country. I'd see a brownie and I'd have one. And inevitably, I would ask. It would be like somebody from North Carolina in the kitchen making them. Or, But now I've noticed, like, People have really gotten into them. And I will say, to my knowledge, brownies are always chocolate. Because you hear chocolate brownie, but it's always, like when you go to the States, you never hear a chocolate brownie, you just see brownie. A blondie is a butterscotch. So blondie is no chocolate, or I suppose white chocolate drops with either nuts or pecans. Now there's been some other, there's courgette brownies. Um, People have gotten really the beetroot brownies. I've seen quite a few of those. Um, but yeah, I think if, if anybody was coming, they, they would have to come and try ours for sure. <laughs> <laughs>